What's going on guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we're back with some more Hunter Hunter reactions, man. Um today we're going to be doing um starting off at episode 58. Last three episodes I did was really good, man. These nan abilities are off the chain, no pun intended. Yeah, so um so it's pretty cool to see all the nan abilities in the um in the in the anime you know and the debates that go around um these abilities also you know it's good to see the community see these things and you know debate about them favorite characters whatever the situation is um so we have kurapika capturing the boss mr Crollo himself from the phantom troop that's where we're at gun and Killua is being held hostage um because they gave up themselves to save um kurapika from going up against three of the members of the phantom troop now to see what's going to happen next i know somebody commented and i like i love calling out people on their crap somebody commented under the last video right somebody commented on the last video i have not even responded to it because i'm like you know what i'm not gonna be petty <laughs> because it's just a stupid question because anybody that watches the anime um that they if they were even watching they even watch my reaction they would have they would have understand i don't think they did watch the reaction or they don't remember how the episode went down where um where melody told um killua on top of the roof she told him say something and i'll know ex and i'll hear you melody not only can hear the person commented and said melody can only hear heartbeats unless heartbeats speak and footsteps speak <laughs> okay no that's not the only thing she basically has super hearing if you want to make it simple she basically has her nan ability one of her nan abilities is she can hear people from far away that's why she can not only their heartbeats and that's why i was saying i was suggesting they killua could have whispered something and melody would hear when they were on the roof she proved that she can hear what killua was saying from far away you guys saw my reaction to that so i don't need to justify that you know somebody saying that in the comment section and it, it's just weird to me that see this person doesn't not remember that episode they did not watch my reaction so they could have known instead of putting a comment like that in the comment section okay so don't do st stuff like that because more than likely you know what i'm saying i would respond but i didn't feel like i need to because you know i was hoping that eventually the person would delete their comment and realize their mistake but it's still sitting there so in my opinion that's just not the way to go but in the, uh, i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen with um the mind reading lady now going heading towards where kurapika is and all these other things that are taking place i'm looking forward to it so we're just gonna jump in man um i don't want to spend too much time on the intro if you want to know what happened in the last episode go watch the last reaction okay so let's jump into this and i will see you guys here back for the review. All right, so Greed Highland is here and I'm ready for it to see what new adventure is going to happen now with the continuation of Gun trying to find his dad. Okay, so we're gonna get to see how that happens. If he's gonna find his dad in the game, that's yet to be seen. I think I think what Jing is trying to do is to train, um, train Gun. I think in in all the scenarios, I think that's what he's trying to do. You know, I think he's trying to train him. I think everything that he's putting him through, leaving him these clues to go to this, do that, do this, do that. I think it's all training for Gun to see 
if his son is probably as strong as he has or he wants him to be to be worthy you know what i'm saying worthy of meeting him though i'm a deadbeat <laughs> you know what i'm saying for leaving his son at home like that but it's a pretty dope story though like i like the concept behind him tr going through all of this just to meet his dad just to find his dad and him having such a such a good outlook on it you know what i'm saying like he's not hating on his dad or anything like that and be like oh when i see him i'm gonna kill him for leaving me for all these years no it's nothing like that you know what i'm saying like he's very optimistic about meeting his dad and he's like man being a hunter is must be so cool that he would give up his son to become to do things as a hunter um not something that we all would agree with would necessarily agree with but hey it's the story they're telling and i'd say it's it's interesting okay so everybody um Kripik is gone in separate ways i mean in the first episode we got the conclusion um in episode 58 we got the conclusion of what what went down between um the phantom troop and kurapika right so we lost paku uh pakunoda um the girl because she sacrificed her life to give them to give the rest of the troop members the knowledge right to give them the knowledge of what what happened and um because kurapika had already used his judgment chain on both her and the boss so he can't use that anymore. I had forgotten about that rule that once he uses Judgment Chain, you they can't use Nen anymore. And if they try to use Nen, it's instant death. So, um, if you, you use Nen, it's instant death. So, if they break that rule, they die. Right? So, those were the rules that he set on the Judgment Chain. So... It was pretty dope to see how it concluded with them not having any hostility towards the, um, Gilua and Killua and Gun also because that was resolute, telling them that Paku wanted to thank them. And, you know, both of them, and as I said, man, Killua has changed so much. And he said it again in, in, in one of the episodes, again, where he said, I'm not an assassin anymore. I'm a hunter. Well, he's a hunter. Not a licensed hunter, but he's a hunter nonetheless. I think at some point he's going to go back and do that exam because at some point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he should go back. That's how I feel. I feel like he should go back and do the hunter exam because that way would make him just as legit as Gun. Even though Killua is legit in his own right, being a part of the family that he's a part of, he is famous without being famous. You know what I'm saying? infamous if you will so i love the concept the, the the story that they're trying to tell um to coming up to the end there with the phantom troop now having they're going to be in the game um how many of them is going to be in the game i don't know but we we know that the blonde here dude was he blonde the dude that be taking people's head off that's always upset about everything right he's gonna be right he's gonna be um in the game um that other guy um two is gonna be in the game the one who's always got the the thing over his mouth um so it's a pretty dope thing that you're doing man when it comes on to um continuation of the story from the kurapika arc that being wrapped up leorio is gone to take his doctor's exam or whatever the situation we all know he's going to pass of course so i don't know what's gonna happen next this girl that they introduced with the pigtails she was in the opening so i'm guessing she's gonna be significant going forward also haven't seen know what's going on with hisoka that whole issue in in episode 58 where he wanted to fight the boss but now he can't use nen so he's not that interesting to hisoka anymore so that was I, I had forgotten that the boss wasn't going to be able to use nen and i was ready for hisoka versus Krolo, right but fortunately we did not get that fight 
So we're gonna see what happens in this. Of course, um, they're in a video game, so there's gonna be bad guys. There's gonna be people trying. I'm pretty sure if if you die in the game, die every life. So that simple means that people can fight each other in this game. Um, no holes barred. You can sneak up behind somebody and kill them. They die in real life. So I'm guessing there's gonna be fights in this arc, no doubt about it. Green, Green Island arc. Greed Island arc, I'm ready for it, and the message that Jing left for Gun, very, very nice message he left for him, um, to a, a, and the explanation of the game, oh my god, the explanation is so intricate, you know what I'm saying, and then Jing is saying that him and his friends created this game, which is pretty dope too, because... And then that that guy that bought up all the all the all the station, he must have spent he spent a fortune, bro, on on these um joy stations or whatever you call them, the game, um the Greed Island games. Man, them things are expensive. Anarchy, he ended up couldn't afford it because I think twenty five billion was his budget. Anything above that he couldn't afford. So it's pretty cool, man, to see. You know how they wrapped it up the last arc and now we're jumping into a new arc which is greed island so we'll get to see more of it i don't know maybe weekend if you don't see any on the weekend then it's definitely going to be next week okay so thank you guys for listening and watching with me as always man if you hear drop a like drop a comment in the comment section of course subscribe if you're new and remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts. And I will see you guys next time on Hunter Hunter. Peace.